glaze on our skin, blot their eyes, and cherry lips. These are how we could describe strawberry makeup. I'm going to show you how to achieve the look step by step in an easy way. So now let's get started. First thing first, we need clay skin before setting our makeup. At this stage, I'm going to use a sunscreen that gives the skin a glowy look. This product has a subtle peach tint but not too obvious so makes you look more useful and healthier. After that, I'm going to use a corrector to brighten my under eye dark circles. I think I could skip the concealer but not corrector for everyday makeup look. It is so efficient to transform my look from tired to fresh with just one swipe. I'm going to take a salmon shade as always and apply it on my under eye dark circles and around my lips. These are the most important parts of our face whether we look tired or not. Since it's all about red blush and lipstick, I wouldn't put too much effort on my complexion. Using this hydrating light coverage concealer, I'm going to apply it on the area where I want some light coverage. Nowadays, my skin has been looking its best due to a good self-care routine. I often work out and typically eat a healthy diet. I feel like I don't need a high pigmented product for my skin. The most important part of today's look is blush. I used to put blush towards the end of my makeup routine but this time is different because a I couldn't wait to apply this beautiful blush all over my cheeks B. It'll be a guide for other makeup products for knowing how much eyeshadow or eyeliner I should apply or what suits me the best, etc. I'm adding subtle layers of blush all over my cheeks and a touch to the bridge of my nose for an even more sun-kissed look. If my face looks glowy and tidy, it wouldn't look flattering on me, so I'm going to put a bit of pressed translucent powder to diminish the level of glowiness on my skin. Since I'm going to apply a powder eyeshadow and powder bronzer after, it's always helpful to mattify the area because I'm going to apply those products, especially to avoid a muddy and patchy look. For eyeshadow, I'm going to do a subtle but latte kind of look, but didn't want to go for a yellowy or warm tones just to match with the blush shade. So I decided to go for a neutral rosy brown shade as a base for my lids and along my lower lash lines. For a wing eyeliner I'm doing after, I'm going to draw a subtle guideline like creating a sculpted eye look with a deep brown eyeshadow. As long as you have this kind of tiny thin eyeshadow brush, you will get the wing eyeliner look much easier without making any mistakes. After curling my lashes, I'm going to do a wing eyeliner with a brown eyeliner pen. An eyeliner pen gives you the intense eyeliner look with more pigmentation than other pencil or gel eyeliners, but when it's brown, it will give you a softer but more obvious look. I'm going to tie line first and then extend the line a little bit upwards for a subtle cat eye effect. After doing my eyeliner, I'm going to put some mascara on my lashes. Although this is a more natural makeup look, I still want my lashes to look more voluminous, so I picked the volumizing mascara. And for lower lashes, I'm going to be using a different mascara with a thinner wand. Using the thinnest mascara, the application process is much easier. For eyebrows, as always, I'm going to use an ashy brown eyeshadow that gives the light pigment look and apply it roughly all over my brows. Please do not forget to brush the brows for a softer look. I recently found that as you get older, your brow hair will lose the strength to hold it upwards. So that's why we keep brushing them upwards for a more useful and fresh look. This makes me understand why we trended the whole bushy eyebrow look. For a more fresh and useful look, I'm going to use a brow gel and brush the brows more upward. We can skip using a bronzer when it's about a sun-kissed blush look because those two harmonize together so well. Instead of using two orangey or yellowy toned bronzers, I decided to go for the neutral bronze shade that gives me a sophisticated bronze look. Since the color of cream blush disappears a bit and it is now hidden from the bronzer, I'm going to use a powder blush to add more pigment on my cheek. 
This will make the blush more obvious and make the look last longer. I'm using a small blush brush to just to make sure that I target the exact area where I want my blush to appear. For our lips, I'm going to use a lip liner to define my lips because we are bringing all the attention to our lips so that I'm putting more effort on the lips from sculpting around the lip. I'm not overdrawing it too much but just to close my natural lip line. To achieve juicy strawberry lips, I'm going to start with deep red shade, glowy lip tint. I wanted that true red lip gloss but couldn't find one and also I got a bit tense so a deeper red shade would flatter me more. I'm going to apply it all over my lips and blend with my fingertips for a more natural look. To add more shine on my lips, I'm going to add a Dior Cherry Gloss all over my lips. Since I got this product, it has become my favorite and as you can see, I have used much of it. I love the beautiful light goopy texture as well as the scent, so it brings me true joy whenever I use this product. So this is my version of the strawberry makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I love trying new makeup trends because it allows me to get off my comfort zone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. I will see you in the next one. Bye!